The St. John's County School District today responding to this video right here that was taken at Bartram Trail High School on Friday. Now it shows students yelling homophobic slurs at other students. On your side's Kaylee Tracy's outside the school with what the district has to say about what happened here. A spokesperson confirms that the students getting yelled at in that video, they're members of the Gay Straight Alliance Club. As for the students yelling at them, the spokesperson says they're already facing punishment. This video the St. John's County School District confirms was taken Friday at dismissal at Bartram Trail High School. Y'all have a mental illness. A district spokesperson says these are students yelling homophobic slurs at students in the Gay Straight Alliance Club. First reaction, I was, I was sad. I'm still sad. I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on with not being able to children that it's okay to be different. Nicole Polkel currently has two children at Bartram. They were not involved in the incident. I'm still kind of in shock. I just don't understand where that kind of hate comes from so young. Students were also seen stomping on what appears to be a pride flag. That's what we're lacking is that these kids just don't know how to be okay with being different. It's not a right or a wrong, um, but there needs to be a zero tolerance for hate of any kind. The district spokesperson says the students involved are already facing punishments ranging from level three to level four infractions. Students facing level three infractions could also face criminal proceedings. Those who face level four could be suspended, expelled, and placed in an alternative school and also face criminal proceedings. The district said in a statement, quote, this behavior is not acceptable and is not indicative of the culture and students at Bartram Trail High School. It went on to say it is extremely disappointing and disturbing that these students handle themselves in this way. For now, reporting Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.